When it came to the court, no issue mattered more for voters than the Second Amendment, the right to keep and bear arms. Justice Scalia's seminal opinion, the most important opinion that he wrote during his entire tenure on the court, was the Heller decision. The Heller decision upholding the individual right to keep and bear arms. And the contrast between Donald Trump, who pledged to appoint justices that would protect the Bill of Rights, including the Second Amendment, and Hillary Clinton, who explicitly promised to appoint justices who would overturn Heller and take away our Second Amendment, the people decided, and this election was a mandate for protecting the Constitution. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. We only have a, a couple seconds left, but I did want to ask you, national reciprocity is such a big yes. issue for, for the NRA, our members. Yep. Yep. Um, how, how good is the chance of getting that through? Well, look, I think we need to tee it up. We need to vote on it. I am an enthusiastic supporter. And we need to put Democrats on record. It is going to be a challenge because Democrats are filibustering everything. And, and so the dynamic we're going to face, we need to, first of all, make them vote on it. And my assumption is most, if not every Democrat, will oppose it, even some of the Democrats who pretend to be good on guns. Uh, the reality is this Democratic Party is the party of Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Uh, their base has gone nuts. No more blue dogs. No, it, it, it's... They pretend. They pretend on election season. These red state Democrats pretend very briefly, but they're terrified of their base right now. So I think we should bring up national reciprocity, make every one of them vote on record, get them right. on record. And then beyond that, we ought to look for vehicles for getting it passed in overcoming a Democratic filibuster. But it's going to take... Republicans stiffening our spines and being willing to stand up and yeah, fight. You better believe it. Well, exactly. Senator, thank you so much for being a great voice of conservatism. Thank you. Hey, you're my senator in Texas. Thank Mine's you, sir. Here. You're my senator in Los Angeles. <laughs> you're the senator of America. Let's put it like that. There well, you, go. you guys are awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.